Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and today's tutorial video is on pumps. In uh, Industrial Craft, there's a machine called the Pump, and I'm going to demo it for you today. Um, the pump is currently bugged. Um, Outblocka has posted on the forum saying that this uh, function I'm about to show you about the pump is a bug, and um, it will hopefully be fixed in one of the upcoming versions. However, there is a workaround for the pumps, and I'm going to show you how that works now. So the first thing you need to do a pump is a miner. And you saw miners in my last tutorial video. Pretty straightforward machine. Um, you place it on the ground somewhere and it will dig a hole straight down. Now I've chosen to place it in a spot that's directly above some water. So you can see there's some water here. All well and good. And just like with our machines earlier, we want to place a mining pipe, a mining drill, and a scanner the OV scanner, you could probably just as easily use the OD scanner. Uh, important note here is to use a normal mining drill, not a diamond tipped mining drill, and I'll explain why in just a moment. Next we're going to need some pumps. Okay, I'm going to place down two pumps on either side of the miner. You could place more, but it's really not necessary. Um, here's the deal with the pumps. Um, pumps work about half as quickly as a miner does. So where a miner could mine two blocks, a pump would only be able to handle one during the same amount of time. And the problem here comes in, um, basically, the bug is that instead of the pump just slowing down the miner, the pump actually stops the miner. If uh, you only had one pump placed here, the, uh, the miner would just get stuck after its first uh, time draining water out of this hole. So by placing down two miners, or two pumps, I'm sorry, next to the miner, you wind up um, being able to keep up with the speed of the miner. Now, for whatever reason, only one of these pumps will actually produce the coolant cells or the water cells that we're going to be creating here. Only one of them will actually function, but for whatever reason, by placing two pumps next to a miner, uh, the system actually does work. So you can see, I'm going to go ahead and run some wiring here. And the pumps turn on once they receive power. Now, I haven't placed my, you saw me take my, uh, mining things out of here. So let me go ahead and place them inside the miner. The miner is going to go ahead and activate and it's going to start moving down. So you can see the miner is moving. Obviously a little bit slower than you saw it move yesterday in my previous video because it's only got a normal drill rather than a diamond tipped miner. Now what should happen here is as soon as it hits water, you should see these pumps start to activate. At some point. Okay, that didn't work. I think what might have happened here is I was playing around with this before and maybe by doing something during my testing it bugged. So let me redo it, hang on, in a different spot. Okay, so as you can see, I've basically duplicated the system that I created earlier. I just moved it out a few blocks uh, from where I was earlier. Like I said, I was doing some stuff down there. Maybe something I did broke it. There might be some uh, flowing water blocks underneath, who knows. Um, pumps are definitely a little bit buggy in this version of Industrial Craft. So I'm going to run my cables to my pumps here, just so that they have power. And you can see when I open the pump interface, it builds up power and it builds up this thing. I'm suspecting that's how much water it's filling up, but that might again be bugged. And in the pump interface, you're going to want to place some empty cells on the top. Uh, you can look up the recipe online on the Industrial Craft for, uh, Wiki or forums, but basically it's uh, four pieces of tin, uh, top, left, right, and bottom. Okay, so now, why don't I sleep through the night and I'll be right back. And one more thing I should show you guys before I get started here is that this will just, like a miner, spit things out onto the ground if they don't have a chest next to them. So you might as well place an empty chest right next to the pump, and then it should empty its contents into the chest. Like I said, only one of these will function, but I don't know which one. Um, in my test earlier that you guys didn't see me doing, it was the one that's on my left at the moment. So let's go ahead and put in our mining pipes and see if things start to work now. Let's also get this sheep out. So, this guy should start heading down. And once it hits the water, you'll see a visual change on the pumps. A 
come to think of it, I also didn't put uh, empty cells in my pumps earlier, so maybe that's why the block got stuck, I'm not sure. But if you notice now, this pump has changed visually, and if we look in the chest to the left, we'll notice there's a border cell in there. It also moved down, and it's filling up again. So like I said, it's only the leftmost pump that's working at the moment, and it's filling up some water cells here. Now, the thing is that this guy's going to head straight down. It's not going to mine the water in the general area nearby. So as you can see, we only got two water cells out of this little lake here. It's not going to drain the water surrounding the pump or the miner. It's just going to head straight down and continue to mine as it normally would. So really the pump is just an addition to the miner that allows it to um, break through water and of course lava it works pretty much the same way. And uh, that's pretty much it. Now like I said earlier, it might be because I didn't put empty cells in the pumps next to this guy. I forgot to do that. And maybe that's why it got stuck. I'm not sure. Um, but pumps definitely act a little bit funny in the current implementation of industrial craft. So that is a uh, tutorial on how to use the pumps in their current implementation in version 1.15. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing it, and I will catch y'all later.